Now in this video, we're going to be looking at box plots. Now, if you haven't already done so, I'd recommend you to look at the cumulative frequency videos first. It might help you a little bit here. Okay, so here I've got a picture of a box plot. So this is how your box plot will look like. And there's five key lines and we have a scale at the bottom. So in this example, we've got weights. So your scale could be different depending on your example. Okay, so let's look at the five key lines. The first one on the left, that is our lowest possible weight, our minimum weight of our sample. The next line we have is the lower quartile. Now, if you're not sure what lower quartile means, it's something I showed you to work out from your cumulative frequency. And generally, it's the value such that 25% of your sample is below that value. 25% of your sample is below that weight in this example. Your next line is the median. Now you've probably heard the median before, and that's normally an average. So we'd expect half the people to be below it and half the people to be above it. And the next line is our upper quartile. This is similar to the lower quartile, but it's the number where 75% of your data is below that value and 25% is above it. And the last line we have on the right is our maximum value. And in the most easiest questions, they might just give you the value for these and expect you to draw your box plot. So let's have a go at drawing a box plot. Okay, so in this table, we've got all our necessary values to draw our box plot. So let's start drawing it. In this example, the scale has already been drawn for us. Sometimes you might need to do that yourself. So just look at the minimum value and the maximum value to decide how you're going to scale it up. Okay, now remember how the diagram looked like from before. You don't want your box plot to be sitting on the scale, slightly above it. So let's put our five major lines in. So our minimum weight here is nine. So we need to draw that line for the nine on our scale. Then our low quartile is 15. So let's put that line in too. And the median here is 19. So, so, let's, so let's go ahead and put that in. Our upper quartile is 31. Let's put that in. And our maximum weight is 43. Now we need to draw the box. So we draw that major box, which makes it a box plot. And also keep in mind that sometimes you'll find the minimum value and the maximum value lines drawn slightly smaller than the actual box itself. Okay, let's look at some additional questions which might be asked on our box plot. Part one, work out the range. Now the range is simply the largest value, so our maximum value, minus the smallest value, which is 43 minus nine, giving us 34. Next part, work out the interquartile range. Now you should remember that from the cumulative frequency video and that is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile, which is 31 take away 15, giving us 16. The next part says, given that in the sample there was 400 participants, work out how many participants were above 31. Now, looking at the box plot, you should recognize that 31 is your upper quartile. And as I said before, you should know that 75% of your data is below it and 25% of your data is above it. So since 31 is our upper quartile, we know 25% of the data is above it. And this question is asking us how many participants is above 31? So since 25% of our data is above 31, we have 400, remember. What is 25% of 400? And you should know it's 100. 100 participants is above 31. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.